Hello, my warriors. Welcome to another Let's Talk About It video. So, trying to make sure my nail ain't left. Okay, it's good. The topic today is would you date a guy who meet me has extra skin? Once again, would you date a guy whose meat meat has extra skin? Okay, I'm going to pull it off now. I just want to make sure you got that topic. Don't pop. Okay, so, if you are under 18, you need to get off this station, period, poo, <laughs> that'll make sure nobody's gonna pull out in front of me. So, to go to the answer of that question, that question can be a yes. And it can be a no, okay? Now, when you first meet a guy and y'all have been talking and you decide to do it for the very first time, if you have any sense at all, you're going to use a condom, okay? Pure point blank. I'm like this, no prime, no time. Now, if you decide to stop using condoms later on in the relationship, then that is fine. But in the beginning, come on now, at least the first 90 days, you need to be using condoms, period. Now, we're going to say professional and ghetto. Those are the two topics we're going to use. Now, if you're dating a ghetto man who barely washes his behind, then I will see why you with him from jump. But if you are dating a intelligent, professional person who keeps their self clean, then yes, it's okay to, you know, have a relationship with someone who has extra skin on their meet me. Because back in the day, it depends on what timing, or should I say what generation, some parents just couldn't, you know, even afford it. I know insurances normally pay for it, but some parents just couldn't <coughs> take care of that bill. So they might have not gotten, just pull out in front of me, dumbass. They might have not gotten their child circumcised, or they felt not right. It could have been a religious thing. We don't know. So, you don't want to look at this guy and say, okay, I don't want to be with him because he's not, and he's a professional with a good job, a guy that you love everything about him. It's just you worried about his meet me. Now, it is so easy to clean it. All you do is pull it all the way back, pull it all the way back, and you just wash it like normal. Okay? And then I have heard, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have heard that uncircumcised is better than circumcised because it's protected by that extra layer of skin. So you have to look at the picture itself. Like I say, and we're messing with ghetto fabulous that don't like to watch their behind. First of all, you're crazy for being with him. And second of all, heck no, I would not let him 
with a condom, without a condom. You ain't coming up in here. And you don't like to wash your behind. No. So it really depends on the person themselves. If you know you're in the shower with this person. And you literally can see that they really clean themselves real good. Then I think it's a good idea. Now, I don't like putting my business out there, okay? But I am this time. I have dated a guy who was not circumcised. But if you look at, like I said, this person really took care of himself. I'm not sure, because we never really talked about it, why his parents didn't get him circumcised. I don't know that. Come on now. Stop moving up so I can see. So, you you have to really, you know, focus on the situation, you know, of the person, what type of person that is. It is a person that takes care of themselves. Then, no, you're not going to just, you know, say no to the person because they tell you, hey, baby, I'm not circumcised. I'm going to let you know that right now. But you can look at the way the person takes care of themselves, and that's how you can make a decision on if that's someone that you want to date. I got this topic from two young ladies today, and hopefully they're going to watch the video so they can get an answer to their question. Because I think they said no. They will not. But if you two young ladies watch this video, leave in the comments how you feel. Okay, I know this is not a long, long video because it really wasn't that much to talk about. It was just simply, hey, long as that person taking care of themselves, then yes. If that person is not, what? If that person is not, then heck no. Why is the person blowing the horn at me because I want to turn? These people are crazy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you are not a warrior yet, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then hit the notification button to be notified of all videos. Along with share this video, let them know what your girl is doing. I want to say thanks for watching. Leave a comment. I can't do it because I got one hand holding it and the other hand driving. So I'm going to say later, my warriors. Person, do you know what you're doing? This is how you cause accidents. Crazy people.